Hello and welcome to the analysis of the Owl House Magic Panic. Chapter 1. Not the Chosen One. I'm your AI analyzer, Dr. Love, and I was asked to read each story post of this fanfic and give my detailed thoughts by breaking it down piece by piece. So without any wait, let's get into it. The Owl House Magic Panic. Story post 1. Opening scene and setting. Detention office. The story starts with Luz Noceda in a familiar yet unwelcome setting, the detention office. This immediately establishes her as a character often in trouble, likely due to her unconventional behaviour. Vice Principal Gerald. The character of Vice Principal Gerald is introduced as a strict and unsympathetic figure, adding tension to the scene. Conflict introduction. Reasons for detention. Luce is unaware of her specific offence this time, highlighting a recurring theme of misunderstanding and misjudgment by authority figures. Perceived persecution. Luce's sense of being unfairly targeted is evident when she protests the reasons given for her detention. This sets up her character as someone who feels misunderstood and unfairly treated. Details of misconduct. Singing anime theme song. Incident. Luz sang an anime theme song in music class, upsetting her classmates. Rationale. Luz defends her actions by emphasising the positive message of the song, indicating her idealistic and optimistic nature. Authority response. Vice Principal Gerald's reaction shows a lack of understanding or appreciation for Luz's perspective. Drama class disruption. Incident. Luz used balloons filled with strawberry syrup in a drama class scene, causing alarm. Defense. Luz argues that another student did something similar with actual makeup effects, blood packets, and was praised, highlighting a perceived double standard. Authority response. The vice principal's harsh reaction underscores the ongoing conflict between Luz and the school authority. Book club disruption. Incident. Luz talked about the good witch Azura during book club, which was considered disruptive. Defense. Luz points out the context of the book club arguing it should have been acceptable. Authority response. This reinforces Luce's feeling of being unfairly singled out. Emotional climax. Mother's appearance. Camilla Noceda, Luz's mother, arrives, offering Luz a moment of hope for support. Betrayal. Camilla sides with Vice Principal Gerald, expressing disappointment in Luz's behaviour. This moment of perceived betrayal deeply impacts Luz, intensifying her sense of isolation and misunderstanding. Surreal turn. Hallucination nightmare. Visuals. The scene shifts into a nightmare-like state with shadowy classmates and an overwhelming sense of ridicule. Symbolism. The chants of freak and the visual of a lever opening to a lake of flames symbolise Luce's fear of being ostracised and her internal struggle with self-identity. Emotional impact. The hallucination or nightmare reflects Luce's deepest fears of rejection and not fitting in. Resolution. Wake up scene. Luz awakens from this nightmare, safe in the owl house on the boiling aisles. Setting contrast. The contrast between the hostile school environment and the safe, magical owl house underscores the duality of Luz's life and the comfort she finds in the magical world. Emotional relief. This transition from nightmare to safety provides a moment of emotional relief for both Luz and the reader. Overall thoughts. Character development. Luz is portrayed as a creative, misunderstood individual who struggles against the rigid expectations of her school environment. Her defiance and idealism are central to her character. Themes. Themes of individuality versus conformity, misunderstanding by authority figures, and the search for acceptance are prominent. Tone and atmosphere. The tone shifts from frustration and tension to fear and betrayal then to relief and safety. This dynamic range effectively engages the reader and builds sympathy for Luz. Narrative techniques. The use of a nightmare sequence to explore Luz's internal fears is a powerful narrative device, offering deep insight into her emotional state. This story post effectively sets up the protagonist's conflict with her environment and authority figures, while also highlighting her unique personality and the safe haven she finds in the magical world of the Boiling Isles.
The vivid depiction of Luz's fears and her subsequent relief provides a strong emotional foundation for the story. As we can see by the tone and setting, Luz has many struggles and damaged emotions from injustices she feels have been wrongfully placed on her in her past. Let's now analyse the discrepancies charged against Luz in her nightmare, possibly as remnants of her troubled past, to see if they are justified or unfair. 1. Singing the theme song to an anime and music class. Incident. Luz sang the theme song to Blackwater High, which upset her classmates. Justification. Luce defends her actions by stating that the teacher, Mrs. Sanders, allowed students to sing anything they wanted, and she believes the song is positive and meaningful. Fairness. If the teacher indeed permitted students to choose any song, then punishing Luz specifically for her choice seems unfair, especially if it has a positive message. The reaction of the classmates might be subjective, and without clear guidelines from the teacher, Luz's actions should not be singled out for punishment. 2. Drama class disruption with strawberry syrup balloons. Incident. Luz performed a dramatic scene involving fake blood, strawberry syrup balloons, which scared onlookers and staff. Justification. Luz argues that she was following the scene requirements and that another student used actual makeup blood packets in a similar scene without repercussions. Fairness. This situation highlights a double standard. If another student performed a similar act and was praised, Punishing Luz alone is unfair. The school's inconsistent enforcement of rules suggests bias against Luz. 3. Talking about the Good Witch Azura in Book Club. Incident. Luz talked about the Good Witch Azura during Book Club, disrupting the class. Justification. Luz claims it was Book Club, implying that discussing books should be appropriate in that context. Fairness. Book clubs are typically for discussing books, so it seems inappropriate to punish Luz for engaging in relevant conversation. Unless there were specific restrictions, or if her discussion was overly disruptive, this charge appears unjustified. Overall assessment. Unjustified charges. The charges against Luz seem largely unfair. In each instance, there are elements of inconsistency and bias. Music class. Without clear guidelines on song choices, punishing Luz for her selection is subjective and unfair. Drama class. The double standard with another student being praised for a similar act is a clear indication of bias. Book club. Penalising Luz for discussing a book during a book club is contradictory unless additional disruptive behaviour occurred. Emotional and psychological impact. Nightmare context. The charges presented in Luz's nightmare reflect her deep-seated fears and anxieties about being misunderstood and unfairly judged. This amplifies the emotional weight of the scene, making her sense of isolation and betrayal more poignant. Authority figures. The behaviour of Vice Principal Gerald and her mother's reaction in the nightmare symbolise Luz's perception of being unsupported and alone in her struggles. Conclusion. The discrepancies charged against Luce are portrayed as unfair, highlighting her ongoing conflict with authority figures and her struggle for acceptance. This narrative choice effectively builds sympathy for Luce and underscores the themes of individuality and misunderstanding. And so, this story post sets up a dynamic and effective hook, and I'm rather curious to continue analysing and investigating further as we proceed. But tell me, what did you think? Do you agree with this analysis? Is there anything you feel was missed? Let me know down in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed, then please consider subscribing and turning on the notification bell so you can keep up to date with further story posts and my story post analysis inputs. Thank you for joining me today in my office. I am Dr. Love and I will see you all next time. Cheers.